for a motor system the understanding goes something like this that this m stands for a pump and this stands for a control system the symbol of a square right so basically there is communication between the control system to the pump and from pump back to control system this understanding is incorrect let us try to look in depth and understand of to how these signals work the first thing is imagine here's your motor the motor has three components the first thing is the control system the second is the mcc or the motor control center and then you have the pump now the first let's have a switch put on the control system called as xs now this switch is basically for an operator to on the motor so let us have this hardwired signal connected which is called as a start switch so in the actual world of wiring what would happen is the start signal will go to the mcc from the mcc it will go to the motor or the pump and it will start the motor now similarly in the same way we'll have the stop signal going from the control system to mcc from mcc it will go to your pump now in the similar case this is represented in the pnid like this which is hardwired signal and if you can see in the symbol the direction is also shown the direction shown is towards the motor so it is going from the control system to the motor now let us look at the running indication that running indication comes from the pump it goes to mcc from mcc it goes to control system this is shown something like this now you can see the arrow here is going towards the control system why because this signal is a signal which is coming towards the control system now the next thing is sometimes you have a local remote status shown something like this on the control system side which is called as an excel sometimes now what does this indication show actually the motor can sometimes also be controlled via a local control panel short form as lcp now this means that you can start the motor you can stop the motor also you can have the local remote indication then transferred back to your control system so sometimes you can control the motor via control system sometimes even via lcp so how would the operator know that currently the motor is in operation with respect to the control system commands or with respect to the local control panel so for that we have a remote local indication this signal sometimes is a soft signal which is shown here so basically this signal helps us to understand that is this uh, motor working in the remote mode that is via control system or via local mode via local control panel now let us quickly try to summarize this concept so here's our motor here's the two switches initially which are very important which is start and stop this is shown here is hardwired usually these are electrically hardwired signals but could be that certain motors come which are completely having serial communication that would be shown with the soft symbol now if you see here this symbol is for running which we just saw this is also currently shown as the hardwired signal then you might have local remote indication that could be again hardwired or it could be a serial signal which is shown here so this is one symbol that is available then you might have sometimes additional signals also for example here this symbol is a diamond inside a square so this if you remember during our system stock this is basically a safety system or a safety safety instrumented system system sys in this case sometimes this is used in terms of an hazard this would cause a trip signal to be generated which will override almost everything else so whatever the pump is doing it will get to its safety state and it will trip the motor the next signal which is sometimes used is a fault indication so sometimes the motor is stuck with something or there is some issue to it so also a fault indication that there might be a fault coming in the future even though the motor is currently working so all those diagnostic details are also sometimes traveled by a serial communication so this is the basic understanding of a motor symbol this video is part of the master class on Udemy called as how to learn PNID in a brand new way. I think you would find it super valuable. The link is given in the pinned comment and in the description. Till then, happy learning. Take care.